Hey everyone, tonight we're gonna to tie a grapefruit leech. This is a great two-handed swing steelhead fly for the Midwest, especially Michigan, which is where it originates from. Uh, we're gonna be doing a tube fly tonight, which is one of my favorite things to do. Real easy though, if you wanna do this on a shank, you can just grab a shorter Senyo shank and a little bit of wire and you can follow along, real easy. Here I'm using the HMH fly or uh, tube vise adapter. Super, super easy to use. You just insert this piece into your normal vise. It's got two mandrels that come with it and some tubing and all the stuff you need to get started. This is small HMH tubing and clear. Simple, I go through tons of it. It's the way to start out. Um, you don't need to start with a full-on tube vise. Not necessary, just make sure that's in there tight and you're ready to go. Okay, we're using about an inch and a quarter of tubing here, and this is an extra small dumbbell eye uh, that I've already attached with some chartreuse 6 aught. You can use a lot lighter uh, eyes. Some folks like barbell, some folks like bead chain. This is really a winter fly for me, so I want the fly to get down a little bit faster, so I go to the barbells. Okay, wrap your thread back, leave some space for some junction tubing, or again, if you're using the shanks, wrap back to where it gets a little bit larger, that hourglass shape. So, we're gonna match this up. I actually use this as a, as a gauge. And the first thing we're gonna grab is some rabbit. We're using purple tonight. This is some really good rabbit I grabbed from Hairline. And I'm just pulling a chunk off and exposing some of the hide. This will give me a great chunk to tie in once I get my bobbin set here. I'm just gonna tie that whole chunk of hide down because I'm gonna wrap a material right on top of that. Easy. Keep that out of the way if you can. Next material, some Aquavale Senyos. You can use whatever color you want. Um, you can get creative with this fly. This is just my way of tying it. The original I don't think even has rabbit in it, but I think combining rabbit and marabou in a winter fly, the two best materials for slow moving water you can't go wrong. We're gonna do about six concentric touching wraps here up the shank. Three, four, five, six. Capture that with about three or four wraps. Done with that. Next. Going to the core material here, Marabou. Again, using a big pack from Hairline. This is just the way to go if you use a lot of Marabou. Grab a nice blood quill here. I've stripped all the junk off the bottom. Expose the tip because that's where we're going to tie in. Plus those fibers aren't real long, so they're not super helpful to us. Tie that in, trim the tips, or just break them off. I like to wet my thumb and index finger when I'm wrapping marabou and run it through the feather. I can orient all the fibers facing the rear of the fly, so I'm not wrapping over them when I'm going around. and I'm constantly working back. One nice thing about working with the tube, there's no hook back here to snag my thumb up, and that has happened many, 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 many times over the years, so it's kind of a nice change. And because Marabou isn't always super consistent, there's no set number of wraps here. I'm looking for 
an, at least a few wraps, at least three usually, so I can see the flash underneath, but not so much that everything's covered because it needs to breathe. Too much of a good thing is possible. Trim that quill, pull any extra stuff out of there. There's usually some. And wrap back on what's left. Great. If you want, again, wet your thumb and index finger. That'll help keep the fibers out of the way. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of flash. I use two different kinds on this fly. A lot, again, you can do a lot of different color variations. I use kind of the grape flashaboo blend here, and then a little bit of this uh, polar flash. It's kind of like a black rainbow. Take six or eight strands. Less is more here, because we're gonna be doubling everything up and folding it in half. Start with my grape mix. Flashes on top, spread it out. Make sure your tube's not twisting too much. Same thing with this rainbow polar flash. I don't think it's called rainbow. I don't remember, I lost the packaging. I have it at the shop. Okay, spread those out. They're nicely blended together. Right back. If you want a super durable fly, I kind of got this from Tie and Pike Flies. You can super glue it every step if you want, and you'll have a super durable fly. But you'll go through a lot more super glue too. All right. Next material we're gonna play with is Fusion Dub in Electric Grape. This is a fun material. I don't see a lot of people using this at the shop. It's not an easy material to use. It's a little bit longer, it's really soft, it moves well, and it has great blends of flash for steelhead. And what I'm gonna do is card that material. I'm gonna align all the materials or the fibers in there like you're using kind of like a laser dub. And what I'm gonna do is loosely set this on here because what I'm gonna do is bring a really loose thread wrap. Oops, I dropped my bobbin, still worked. Around, and I'm gonna capture that around with one cinch and then orient the rest of those fibers back. That'll encompass that whole blend. Grab your favorite Velcro tool, comb that out, make sure the whole fly has a little bit of that mixed around. You can always reorient. And now we work on the head. I'm going to use some ice dub here. This is fluorescent shell pink. You can use whatever you like. Kind of the classic Colors, again, are a pink and chartreuse, um, but sometimes I'll use even an olive mix. So, a lot of options. Go heavy to start with this stuff. I want to fill the gap right here. Once we get up to the dumbbell eyes, you need to go a lot thinner. So, if you're a big fan of dubbing loops, you can do that, but be, use caution. It's tough to wrap around dumbbell eyes with a dubbing loop and not get clogged up. And the idea here is I'm gonna pick all this out and make it look nice and fuzzy afterwards. So I'm just touch dubbing and taking some figure eight wraps. It helps if you're putting a lot of pressure on to pinch this tube so it doesn't spin. The further out you go, the more, the harder the time this tool has it hanging on the tube, which again, it does a good job, but. Okay, check underside, make sure you're covered there. Wrap off in front, grab your Velcro tool, pick that out.
Good one and shaggy looking for sure. Now, a lot of folks really like to use ice dub to fold over. Um, I've kind of gone the, a different way. I've been using a lot of egg yarn and laser dub. This is, this is just standard egg yarn and chartreuse. It moves really well in the water and uh, easy to use. I kind of misalign the fibers so it's not all one length and then gather it back up. There we go. And when I'm tying this in, I don't, usually I do not like to tie in right at the half point. I kind of tie a 40-60 so that the longer edge is first. Give it one, two good wraps. See how this is a little bit shorter? That way you get a nice tapered finish. Then create a nice little thread head right there in front of the dumbbell eyes. Grab your whip finish. You can add a little bit of glue to this later too if you like. Comb out that chartreuse head. Kind of like an overwing. And then I always bring in my example fly so that I trim my rabbit at roughly the same length. Right. And then I cut my flash to finish up right around the edge of that rabbit. There you have it. Grapefruit leech. <sighs> swing it slow, swing it deep, and uh, hang on. Tie these in a bunch of different colors. Experiment. Come up with your own ways of tying this. There's a ton of them. As long as you're getting out there having fun doing it, you're doing it right. Hope to see you out there on the water. Thanks for watching.